There's two things I want to do. One of them is actually check out the workshop. We're going to check out some custom made levels now that it's up. Oh, there's whole campaigns you can do? What? Let's check out the most endorsed workshop levels to see what's been going on. So there's one by Bolt called the Black Box. It has 70 likes. Wait, so what's the deal with this box? What do these joints mean? I'm so confused. So why can I not just build normal bridges? What What is going to happen to me? Let's find out. Yeah, it's a box. Duh. Does it get in my way? Does it actually block me off? Oh! I see now. I understand. I have to pull the box with a hydraulic. We'll make a pretty simple design, I think, like so. Just a little pentagon like here. I can connect these like so, which is cool. Oh, this is expensive, actually. So what I wanted to do was pull the box up. Oh, shh. Rip. Let's make a little bit of a leaner design, huh? Maybe something more like this is a little bit more manageable. Perfect. We've lifted up the box, but now we are over budget. So can I shave 1,868? Oh, yeah, and then another achievement. Oh, and there's leaderboards for workshop levels? Now this is cool. I remember when trying to get the best on a workshop level, I had to go through so many hoops to try to figure out what the best to budget is, but this is so convenient. So workshops are gonna be like twice as fun to play now. And plus you can apparently submit entire campaigns, which people were doing in Polybridge 1, but now that can officially be done in this game, which should be a lot of fun, I think. There's actually so much I'll be able to do in this game. This actually might be infinitely repeatable content. This could actually be the Balloon CD6 replacement we were all hoping for. Am I going to do my own campaign? I could, but I do like playing other people's campaigns, so I'm going to roll with that right now. All right, there we go. We're under budget. Very cool level. I'll, uh, how do I endorse it? Oh, there we go. Just press that. Cool. What the fuck? Hope Aliens Rock plays this. What did you do to Bridge Game? What did you... What? what did you do? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is a spring level. I do use springs to get this across. I have one road total. So I got to make like a slingshot, right? A slingshot to get it all the way over here. Move this up and over. Hit this and then have this stretch less. Maybe? The peak happened a bit before this. Is it gonna be close? Come on, flip! Why would you not pick a different car? This is like the worst car to pick, come on. We got the distance though, so we just gotta literally just try to get lucky. I mean, that's this level in a nutshell. Just keep messing with stuff until you get lucky, but um, so be it. Well, it hasn't flipped yet. Come on, don't fail me now, buddy! Don't fail me now! There we go. Solid. Glad we got that done. That was that was a slick, slick looking launch. Oh, only featured workshop levels at leaderboards? Oh, that's actually a bit of a shame. I would have expected all of them to have it. Let's do a push o war. That sounds interesting. The push o war. Interesting, yeah. So it's a rotating block, it seems. This is- why was there not anything like this in the actual campaign? Hopefully there will be. I hope there's an expansion with stuff like this, because this is cool. Uh, where basically, it seems that it rotates around this fixed point, and I have to somehow let the cars go through. So what exactly happens if I just build normally? How does it go wrong? What if I actually have the bottom bridge be normal and have the top bridge maybe do an arch or something? Does Eunice have any levels? I'd be shocked if he had time, but maybe he does. So I'm gonna have this, how fast is this? It's kind of slow. This is gonna push the block and I want it to like push down or something. So this can, this at a slower pace can make it to over there. Weird idea, I know. There's a star. There, perfect. Classic design here, of course. All the wood triangles we can need. We'll see how this pans out. Okay, it's going slow. Is it still going to make it up? No, it actually gets pushed back. Well, hold on. Let's see if we can make this be a bit less steep. So it goes slowly, but still up. I'm slowing this guy down, but with extra steps. 
So now he gets pushed back, but then he should be able to keep going up, I think. Yeah, so now he should be able to push this thing, and he should get the job done all by himself. There we go. Easy. Oh, top 32%. We could go, we could try to go for budget on this kind of level. First things first, let's get rid of this steel. It's pretty ugly. Let's get rid of that as well. All right, I'm just gonna do a little bit of work in optimizing this. Nothing, nothing too much, but just some basic stuff here. Still not great. Not perfect. Should get the job done though. We get top 10%. I'll take my top 10% and I'll go back to the workshop. How bad can a four meter bridge be? A short gap, but an extremely heavy truck with small budget. Yeah, how bad could it be? <laughs> you can make it that heavy? This is the heaviest truck I've ever seen. It's 250 polygrams. And it's really slow. It's insanely slow. So it has to be extremely consistent. Well, hold on. So what's wrong with this, right? It has 2% stress. How bad could this guy be? No! That was actually kind of close. 3% stress, but it's sturdier? No! Whoa, okay, <laughs> whatever's inside got fucked. It gets really bad in the middle, I see. Alright, more muscles. Just under budget. Got a nice little triforce of muscles. Oh, come on. The back part is the worst. Holy shit. No, that's not featured? This one's so good! Fune gallery, maybe? Can we see stuff here? I need to see how cheap people got. 84.29. Yeah, I was thinking about doing something over the top, like a rope or something. That's only 90% stress. That was cool. This did o God, it only over supports. Just the double steel arch. Nice job, Bodie. All right, let's see what else there is. This looks more fun. Get the buggies down to the bottom and up to their other side. Okay, so every buggy's got to hit this checkpoint and then it's got to come back up. So here's how this is going to kind of go. We're going to have a bunch of stuff like this where everything's kind of attached except for that last road because that last road's going to be a trap door. This is going to be supported in a way that the car can push it out. Something like this, anyways? Right, so it's gonna just generate a bunch of speed, basically. And then it's- whoops. And then it's gonna make its way up. And then the other side's gonna have something- Well, I'm not sure what the other side's gonna have, to be honest. I would hope that this is a momentum-based level. Where, because they'll have the speed from the drop, we will have enough speed to take them back up, but I don't know. But we do have connections to here. I guess we do have a balloon. I just want to see if the ramps themselves hold like I think they will. Yeah, okay, that works better than I thought. Now, this doesn't reset in the same way it starts, but I could change that later. So now, what's going to happen here is that everything else is just going to have roads going up. Something like this. Oh, but there are hydraulic phases, so you just do hydraulics when you need to move a road out of the way. I wonder if this can be done without hydraulics, though. The cars have enough horsepower to make up the slope without momentum. Ah, uh, so I probably do have to use hydraulics. Well, I was more interested in attempting a hydraulic solution, but this is fine. This is totally fine. It doesn't ruin the level at all. I'll do a hydraulic thing eventually. Let me just see if it is, in fact, true that it just drives up. It do be driving up. Yeah, it can just keep driving up. All right, so we do a hydraulic. So it really shouldn't be that much harder than just having this expand. This is actually a really cool level. So this is quite unique. Well, let's see how it works. I'm not quite sure how this bottom car is going to work. And I don't know if the hydraulics are going to work perfectly. It looks like the car should fit. Oh, what I'm also worried about is this whole wood thing. I mean, the cars aren't going to hit the wood, but coming down, the cars may have some issues. Like this guy might... Yeah! <laughs> it gets a little airborne. I could just have this be hydraulics. Yeah, it's totally fine, because really, I can just take this and flip it around. Like that. 
Now, assuming we don't donk the road, there this should work. Well, we do donk the road, but not fatally. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, what can I say? That is fast. I think it gets airborne even a little bit. So let's try to bring this up so it doesn't donk the road. Or not the road, the ledge. All right, you can do it. There we go. Didn't, don't even need the spring. I don't know. I trust hydraulics more than springs, personally. Because with hydraulics, I always know what I'm going to get. Oh, I was worried about that. Let's see if I can. Um, you know, maybe we could just run with this idea. I'll we'll just need bigger steel triangles is all. One of these catches is not like the others. But it still works. For now. I was worried about that. Ah, there we go. Rope's nice. Yeah, there we go. Bridge is very generous for the budget, I gotta say. Can't say it's a bad thing, because this is more of a... Doge! Oh, <laughs> well, I don't know how that happened. Wow, what? I'm gonna adjust this so it works as a better catch. Dude, th think out of Airborne. Alright, you can do it. Don't kill it. Ah, oh, we got it. Yeah, that was a fun one. Seems like there's about one way to do it, but I would love to see it's done without hydraulics. Doing it without hydraulics sounds annoying and tedious, but seeing someone else do it, now we're talking. This is probably my favorite level on the day. Oh, this... What? It's just tumbling down? Now that's creative. Then then also top triangles. Moving the whole thing I think looks nicer. All right, well, let's see what else there was. This was my favorite level of the day. I said that a billion times, but it's true. This one looks cool too, though. I'm actually curious what's going on at 99.9% .9 stress. Oh, it's a it's a showcase design. So what's going on here? <laughs> uh, that's pretty neat. And it is not clickbait. It is true to its name. Let's check out piston rotation. No description. What do we have going on here? So these are rotating things. Oh, God. We had to hit one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, and then go here. Oh, I can't do split joints because there's no hydraulics. So this is my road, basically. Now the car is going to go on here, then it's going to rotate. We're going to use these, obviously, to spin us. And then, I don't know. Then I guess we'll just see. Right, how exactly is this going to work? Oh, this automatically spins. I'm so confused. So let me do a X in here, maybe. And then a max distance. Then we support this. Right, so everything's going to rotate around this, basically. And then we're just going to use the ropes to kind of pull. Something like this? Ah, the rotation's happening, except, however, we miss. Oh, and it doesn't rotate how I hope it would. Because this goes up higher than this, I think, is the idea. So how long is this? 1.75? Well, this is... Oh, this is two. So I move this in like so. Okay, so it's rotating properly, at least. This actually looks pretty cool, but it doesn't work yet. So what I need to do, actually, is get rid of this, and then this should definitely be the road. How about this? Come on. Oh! I mean, this looks good. And the rotation seems to be working smoothly. Now, the thing is, hopefully it drives correctly. 
Come on! What is this shit? Why do I have the wheels connected by rope? Because I'm pretty sure the top one doesn't turn independently. The bottom one seems to be the motor, and I want the t it to turn the top one. I could be wrong about that, but that seems to me how it works. And it does work quite well. Does the top one rotate on its own? Let me take a look. Because then all we would need to do is get rid of this. Okay, good call. It does rotate on its own. I'm not sure why there's a bottom one then. Why need a bottom one if the top one gets it done? Have people used the bottom one? Not sure. Anyways, I got a cult here. This this is fun. I actually like the workshop quite a bit. Lots of cool levels. So the next two streams should be a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys there. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night.